so excited to chat with you guys. I would like to know so much about you guys too, but first I want to ask uh, Grace though, how do you feel that Stargirl has evolved from the first movie to this movie? I, I think that Stargirl um, has changed a lot just on growing up, but also on her experience at Micah High. And um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, definitely. Well, I like the story because it kind of reminds me of like idyllic dreams of um, La La Land in a way for teenagers. And it's like a fever dream yeah. for that. And yeah. you know what I really appreciate from the story is that you know, for, for, for Evan and Tyrell, I really love that the inspiration comes from Black creatives because this kind of detail is important for people of color because we don't get to see that aspect for, of ourselves. How was it for, for Elijah and Tyrell, Tyrell um, how was it when reading the script to include that aspect into your story, the character story? I, I'll say that like, when reading through the script, I, I that was the thing that made me very interested in it and surprised by it was it was like, oh, this is a, a story that is not only about young filmmakers, but it's about young black filmmakers and it has an awareness of the history and what it, um, sort of the the shoulders that we are going to be that or Evan and Terrell want to be standing on. And ever since the first conversation I had with Julia Hart, our director and the, and the co-writer of the film, she made it abundantly clear that she wanted it to be represented in that way and to be treated with respect. So she was very open with uh, Elijah and I about making sure that everything made sense, that it would uh, we were represent represented in the right way, and that you know she, she was telling the story appropriately. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you kind of touched on on everything, but uh, yeah, I think it was like it was it was pretty powerful, and I really respect Julia so much for um, allowing us to have a, a say on like how we would go about things. You know what I mean? And and immediately, like I said, in the, in the chemistry, me and Terrell immediately connected, so it was that much easier for us to you know make this movie or you know, bring this, bring this dream to life. So, yeah. Well, for the three of you, you know, working in Hollywood and uh, you, essentially the story is living your dreams and, you know, living your Hollywood dreams. And you guys are all three in, in the industry as well. Uh, you know, being part of Hollywood, how did you approach this story of these three who also want to be part of that, that, that ideal like, like story? So I'll have either, I can have Elijah go first and then uh, yeah. Grace. I thought it was I thought it was pretty fun to to act what I'm living. <laughs> you know what I mean? So so I didn't it wasn't really too much acting. I think it was more of like a you know, I'm reliving what I've been doing. You know what I mean? Like now it it just it just makes you sit back and realize that okay, this is what I'm doing and then I don't I, it's hard to explain, but it's like you're taking a step back and actually doing what what you're living, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like me and Terrell, like we're making a movie, but if we were in any other movie, we wouldn't be thinking <laughs> as much about a movie because we're make because we're making one now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, and also I I think that like the beautiful thing about this movie is it, it's called like Hollywood Stargirl but it's like the truth is it's really about the heart of art and um I think that's a beautiful thing and that really I related to in my life and made me reflect on how happy I am that I get to do this yeah and then Tyrell I last one Oh, if you wanted to answer, if you wanted to answer that, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think it was, it was a lot of fun for us to really like, I, I mean, it was fun, but it was also cathartic for me to mm -hmm. experience like playing, like playing at achieving your dreams mm -hmm. and then being able to play it all the way out, having them, well, I don't want to like, spoil the movie in the, in the interview, but like 
it was seeing it all the way through to the end and, and being like, oh, wow, like there is a world in which you, you like you strive for success and it may not look the way you initially thought, but you can achieve it and it can be beautiful. It can be even better than you thought. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm. Thank you for your answers. They're w really wonderful. So thank you. I can't wait for everyone to see it and to see this cute, like adorable teen love story. So it's really cute too. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The activist directors, comments and the lectures, fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock life. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this.